Hello you lovely people, it's an absolute pleasure to have you back here on another episode of Bushcraft Basics with Ben. Today's video is going to be quite special because this video is going to be the first of a long line of videos that I add into a playlist that I've named Wittering in the Woods. And basically those videos will be about me just getting into nature, into the woods, the forests around here and Wittering basically about the world, things that are going on in the world, bushcraft and everything in between. Stay tuned guys, I hope you like this new series. should have brought coffee. I don't know why I didn't bring coffee. It's weird isn't it how things taste differently in different environments or different containers or whatever. Like I always find this because a coffee in the woods tastes better than a coffee at home. And it's like coke. I always find that coke tastes better in a can than it does just poured into a glass. So strange. It's the same drink Ben. It's the same drink. I'm just thinking about the celebrity, the young girl that took her own life recently. It was all over the papers and stuff. This was a few weeks back, before the coronavirus. Um, I believe that her and her partner had had an argument or a domestic, and it was going to go to court, and so she just couldn't handle it and took her own life. But it makes you think, because if she'd have just waited out a few days later, news of the corona coronavirus would have spread, and her news would have been minuscule, so... Just a few days later, she might not have had to take her own life. Weird, when you start thinking like that. As I'm sure a lot of you are, I'm pretty concerned about the coronavirus. I don't think it's fake news or anything like that. I do think it's a genuine thing that's going around. However, I do believe we're not being told the full truth. So I had to head out this morning to fill the car up and I got caught behind an ambulance. Two paramedics were in the back. They had the full white overalls, boots, some kind of mask over the face, respirator and they were entering a house just off the side of the road and to see that so close to home make, made me think because a lot of the time as I'm sure a lot of you do you just assume that these things are happening in the world elsewhere, they're away from home and um, they're, not, they're not happening to you so to see it less than two miles away from my house really made it real I suppose I am being conscious, I'm being um, being cautious of what I do, where I go, how I interact with things around me, but there's only so much of that you can do. And I suppose it's like the big brother effect. You stick people in a house full of cameras, these people know how they're supposed to be behaving, but given enough time they go back to their old ways and they just forget the cameras are there, and that's kind of what it's like with me. I'm being observant, I'm being vigilant of what I touch and how I interact with people or with my surroundings, but given enough time you just slip back into your routine again. and. And I suppose that's how it catches people out. But little things are worrying me. Like, I go to the petrol station just around the corner from where I saw this ambulance. And I start filling the car up. To do that, I have to, gra I have to grab the, the fuel pump. And now I'm thinking, how many other people have touched this? And then I have to go to the door of the garage to get inside and pay. And there's a sign that says push. So I'm using my elbow, because I don't want to use my hand. And then the lady said, pop your card in and put your pin in. I'm typing the pin in thinking how many other people touch this. It's just craziness. I am trying to use sanitizer. I am trying to wash my hands as, as much as I can, but as I said, there's only so much of that you can do. You can't escape it forever. You can't carry that on forever. So it'll be interesting to see over the next few weeks or months how this resolves itself or if we find a cure. Or who knows, maybe one day we'll just wake up and this thing will have disappeared completely. So. Either way, I hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves and your family the best you can. And uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Like there's, like I said, you can only do so much. It is what it is. It is what it is. Isn't it, baby? Hey? It is what it is, isn't it? You don't care, do you? Maybe you should. Maybe you should.
You're stuck, aren't you? That'll, that'll teach you. <laughs> How are you going to get out of there now? <laughs> Tallulah. Good girl. Good girl. So I've recently been thinking about getting another dog. I'm not in any position to do that at the minute, but in the future or the near future, definitely, um, I'd love a new dog, a new little companion to bring along. But not only that, just for Tallulah as well, like so she can have some someone of her own species rather than being around humans all the time. One of the dogs that's really taken my fancy is a Silo Shepherd. Um, I was trying to figure out what dog would be like a great companion and loves to be outdoors etc but also family orientated as well because I've got kids and so trying to find that even mix is harder than you think on top of that as well it needs to be easy to train and um, obedient as well now it's not a breed that's very popular in the UK so it's looking like it's gonna have to be an import it's starting to feel like summer's just around the corner now I love that you can definitely feel a change, like the nights are getting lighter for a start. It just seems like there's more wildlife about as well, like this forest sounds really noisy today. There's many different birds, different sounds that I can hear. Well that's it guys, thank you for joining me on the first video of Wittering in the Woods, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It is going to be the first of many little videos that come to this, this playlist, so stick around for more of them. If you can guys, please give this one a thumbs up, drop down in that comments box below as we always say, start chatting amongst yourselves, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon, that one's super important. Until next time guys, take it easy, look after yourselves as always, and if you are in a position to do so, then please do look after somebody else as well. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one, peace.